Hey everybody, it's me TonyFX here, and today I'm here to give you, so I'm making another X shooting tutorial. So, yeah, so basically on today's tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to do a wavy x hair on girls. Uh, this is the, um, mainly this part of the skin, where it has these two, whatever these are, girl, long hair, whatever it's called. So, you know what I mean by that. So... You can tell by the thumbnail. I know how I'm gonna do the thumbnail. So I'm basically make this part of the hair, these two hairline thingies. I'm not sure what they're called, and make them wavy and extruded. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. So yeah, first of all, you have to go to your menu options in um, Photoshop Touch and pick Polygon Tool. And after that, uh, you have to go over here and just um, pick out the edges of the hair. And, uh, this is how I do it, just, uh, find each pixel of the edges and both of the hair. Don't be lazy and do, just, um, just copy and paste it because that's not really worth the effort because they're different, I, I think. Sometimes they're different, I don't know, some, I just do it like that because I'm not really, uh, like, lazy because, you know, I spend like two hours making renders so just like that so after you do that um you had to do the same thing to the other hair so i'm gonna speed this up all right i'm done so after you do that go to the plus button in the bottom right and press layer from section and basically it would just make this layer make a duplicate up here so it would make it look like that but sometimes you will run into a problem like this right here. So there's sometimes like if a shoulder part of this render is just blocking the hair and making it look bad like right here. Well, this is how you fix it. So go to the polygon tool again. Go over here. And select the area like this. This part of the piece that's blocking it. Go to this paint tool. And... Uh, select the color right here that's um the same color with the shoulder thingy or whatever it's in the way and just color it in and this also happened over here and uh it's really simple so uh, you can do it again uh, just make sure it matches up with the hair and like that and get the hair color and it'll look like that so much better and yeah, so it's spot on. Uh, I think it looks better. And sometimes in the edges, make sure to look out. Uh, make sure to look in this perspective because the hair might look weird and the extrude would not look good. So make sure to cut this out. Just like that. And after you do that, just clear it. And there you go. So after you do that, go to end and press warp. But I suggest um, you should save before going because uh, sometimes it crashes um, Photoshop Touch uh, if you press warp on the latest version. I have no idea why uh, the developers left. I don't know why, but yeah, that's, that's just what happens. So yeah, and uh, yeah, so after you do that, uh, press warp and just go over here. So you basically need to make it look wavy. So I usually just put the hair over here and push it down to the middle and to the other side right here. And sometimes I mess up. That's why there's always a back option right here. Like when I'm pressing these two arrow keys if you mess up. And uh, there's different styles of doing this. Uh, sometimes I mess up and try to do it again because, you know, I'm not perfect and I mess up a lot. So, yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep on trying. Uh, it doesn't take too long. It can be very simple. Or it can be exaggerated or however you like to do it. Uh, so I'm gonna make it, so usually I make, sh make sure it goes out of the render picture. So it looks more, well, realistic. And, uh, make sure to worry about this part of the hair, because it really doesn't matter. 
and sometimes it looks too fat or too skinny that's the problem also just try to make it best as possible because sometimes it just makes it look weird uh is that good well it all depends and uh yeah that looks pretty okay so after you do that um get one part of the hair like this with the polygon tool and layer from uh selection just one part of the hair and the other one once you go to this part of the um go to this layer where there has two hairs and cut it so you can control either uh one hair or two hair well you can control it however you want but after you do that um move it and make sure to align it with the original spot right there and uh right here uh you can just uh if it's not already good try to uh adjust it to the original spot sometimes you can move it to make it look better whatever so let me try to move move it like that and right there seems good so after that um this is a bit of a tricky part because this part of the skin needs to be uh like uh, taken off because it does not look good if you have extra pixels with the original hair so this is what i do a lot so basically i usually just go to the second on uh, to the right of the skin and with the polygon tool go to make a um circular i mean square thing with it and go to the same color and just make up some make sure it just looks like a correct pattern and it all depends because make sure it just matches with the um skin if it didn't have hair in the shirt on top of it and it can be tricky at times sometimes uh it works out perfectly because sometimes it's short hair and long hair so i'm gonna just speed this up and hopefully you get what i'm doing all right guys i kind of made a mistake so i kind of made on this layer uh attached to this like um so forget this part so it's not attached to the render if this happens to you all you have to do is really simple just do this with the polygon tool and uh, duplicate um duplicate uh from layer you just press the plus and press layer from section get that part right here move it down and open your skin up and just attach it which you, all you have to do is just go to plus and press actually no go over here and actually i forgot oh yeah so first of, you have, first of all you have to go over here next to the plus button go to the left go over here press this button and press merge down so after that uh take off the skin go right here and all you have to do is just press clear and you fix it right there it was just a little mistake i did but it's fixed now so i'm just gonna go back to the speed <laughs> I'm done surprisingly that took forever and it's just a long process to do the 
back part of the skin but if you're a skin designer then that might be easy for you but I'm not really good at it so I just try but after you've done that which took forever I'll go over here and get the polygon tool and just do what I do so outline so take out the first hair so this part of the um, hair just go over here and just almost outline everything almost and make sure it has a round part of the skin like that and just like this but keep watching because um, if you don't keep watching you're gonna mess up something very very important so right before you hit this mark right here go over here and just do this outline it and it looks like that and just um destroy it because it has a smoother edge because that's not really clean and i think i fixed it better that's what i do all the time so after you do that press deselect go over here and right there and just take that out and boom after you've done that uh extrude the hair which i'm gonna sh show you how to do so i'm gonna show you the wait don't make it really fat just make it uh medium sized extruding so uh you have to really be precise about this or the hair extrude will be weird trust me i've done this forever it took took a, quite a practice to master this hair extrude and make sure to go over here and it this there's different variety of hairstyles that you can do on hair on um, minecraft girl skins and it's not always perfect and make sure it matches up right here and right there there we go and here we go so just like that and also right here just like this so here we go this is the uh, outline of the extrude and this is how you extrude if you did it if you forgot how to extrude so make sure the brush is small not too large but not too big all right there you go so this is like the 23 and just cover um pick the color right here on top of the extrude or under it however make it make the color darker and it'll look like this and sometimes there's like a little bit of white mark right there uh just tap it a billion times till it goes away with the color and it fills it in and uh, you can do this to all the hair, which takes quite a long time to do because this is a bit of process that takes forever. And I won't like uh, make one hour long video for just doing the hair extrude. And I'm just gonna speed all this up. So uh, I already taught you how to extrude. Uh, all you have to do is just make sure so if sometimes the hair is super dark make sure the brightness all the way up So you can see where the darkness is and where the hair needs needs to be and Just like that. So that's how you do the extrude uh, Right there, but uh, since I already taught you how to extrude I'm gonna just speed this up. So yeah Alright guys, I'm done with that part of the extrude, so it will look like this. And after you do that, duplicate the layer, go under the bottom layer part of it, and press um, drop shadow. So let me explain what I did. I went here to the, um, so I'm gonna just delete that real quick. Uh, go to the hair part, press plus, press duplicate layer, go to the bottom part of it. And press uh, press FX, press drop shadow, 
So this is what you do after that. Go over here, make sure it goes over here. And after you do that, you can, I'm making the capacity go down. So it doesn't look kind of unrealistic. And you can make the radius go far. And you can make the capacity go high or low. I'm gonna make it low. Cause it, it doesn't need to be, uh, I'm trying to make it, make it realistic. So, uh, not like that. Uh, not a hundred percent. Just like this. So there you go. And after you do that, um, go to the skin right here. And after you do that, uh, go to the uh, polygon tool and outline the hair. So make sure you don't touch the shadow, uh, drop shadow. And, oops, uh, make sure not to make that mistake because I make that a lot. There you go, so. And after you do all of that, press extract. And that part of the extrude, I mean the drop shadow will be away. And it'll be in the skin, which uh, I like the drop shadow effect thing because I think it looks better. Better than this kind of look. So there we go. Now I have to extrude this um, little hair, so I'll be right back at with the speed. So yeah. guys I'm done so this is the final product if you do the same step with the two part of the girl hair wavy thingy I'm not sure what it's called but I'm just gonna call it the wavy girl hair yeah the wavy girl hair extrude so that's how you do it uh, if you wanted to you can make the extra um, the hair um, HD by doing this uh, I'm gonna show you real quick, but I'm not gonna do it right now because it takes forever. So each pixel, you have to go um, touch it and press with the polygon tool and do the colors and um, go out, go to the hair where wherever it is right here and do each part of it and uh, you basically have to color each pixel so it doesn't have a weird edge part of the pixel. But you don't have to do it. It can just look like this. Uh, I think it looks okay. Uh, but hopefully this uh, tutorial was good. Uh, it just took a bit of a while to make. So hopefully I get good support. Because I worked so hard on this. Uh, this um, type of extra reading uh, takes a lot of process and time. And this just took too long to make so hopefully I get lots of support out of this video and hopefully we can reach a hundred likes that would be very appreciated but anyways guys thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time bye bye